In the building is our very own eight-year-old poet who won the 10th season of Talented Kids. That's just last year, and she's been doing amazingly well ever since, moving from one show to another, passing on straight, strong, pardon me, passing on strong messages through her poetry. Naki Yatstramani is in the building. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I saw you singing along and doing all your, you know, you were doing two note with this and all of that. <laughs> hey, how did you learn the song? Uh -huh. I hear it outside and I will start singing. And you just pick it up just like that? Yes. Amazing. How has 2020 started for you though? It's fun. Really? Yes. What have you been up to? Tell me. Um, 20, um, it's been wonderful. It's been fun. Wow. And I have another project. But it's a surprise. It's a, oh, it's a surprise. Yes. I see. And uh, so with, with the beginning of this year, have you done any parties? Or is it more of the poetry that made it more fun? Is it the people that you've been meeting? Mom, both of them. Really? I saw that you met with the president yesterday. Yes. Ah. Now, Not really yesterday, but it was, it was Saturday. It was on Saturday, right, but you updated us much later. Why, what was your reason for meeting him? Reason? Yes. Do you know something? Tell me all about I it. I was going to meet my grandmother, I mean Deputy Minister. Mm -hmm. And when I went, she was pounding to sleep. Hey. So when I went, she said she's going to the Jubilee house. Okay. And she asked me that will I go with her. Mm -hmm. And I said yes. Not knowing we are going to the president. Wow. And so I went. Amazing. And you had said before that you wanted to meet the president. Yeah. And as children, we always say, I want to meet the president. I want to meet the president. Did you ever think you would, do you ever think that you'd like to be president one day too? Yeah. Hey. I said it. I said that I want to be the first female president of Ghana. Of Ghana. Amen. Which means that those before you don't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> But all the same, what was that one thing that you, 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 you took from, from the meeting with him? Mm. We didn't have any meeting, but he said I should meet him at his house. Hey, dining with the president. Hello, presidential Nakiat. High five, please. Thank you. On that note, I am also presidential, Chris, now. I'm just tapped into it. Amen. Yeah. Nice one. But uh, moving forward, you said you had something that you told this president. Yeah. Hey, why don't you tell us what it is? Um, I told him, I just told him that um, uh, God bless him. Oh. Um, give him more money. Amen. To save our land gun. Oh. And you want to be president also. If you were president, what would you do? I'll protect Ghana. I'll do everything responsible for Ghana. Really? Can we yes. pinpoint one or two things? Thank protect God. Ghana and what's we? In not um, dumping rubbish on the floor. Okay, so you're very interested in sanitation. Yes. Mm. And I've been going for awards like Child Summit and the okay. Presidential Award Sanitation. Like mm. Presidential. Um, Presidential Environmental Award. Beautiful. So you'd yes. be doing that as well yes. as doing other things to help protect all yes. of us. How do you think you can become president? President? Yes. President mm. of Ghana. Learn hard. Okay. Follow the rules and regulations in the constitution. That's right. And many things. And many things. Yes. All right, I brought that up because of the Constitution. I wanted to know what exactly you know about the Constitution of Ghana. Oh. Do you know how you can become president? No. In the Constitution? Yes, in the Constitution. No. And in the Constitution, do you know who a child is? A child? Yes. Yes. What age? 18. Below the age of 18? Yes. But if you're above the age of 18, you become... Um, an, an adult. adolescent. An adult. Yeah. An adult and then you are fully legal. And so it means that you have to be more than 18 years if you want to become the president of Ghana. And so because you have to be older. Oh. Or? Yes. So you can't become <laughs> the president right now. That's why you want to go to school. Yes. And, you know, be responsible in order to get to this point. 
Also, what exactly is the Constitution of Ghana? Let's better understand that. I want you to help my people out there. What is the Constitution of Ghana? It's... Uh, In your own words. This one is not pressure. It's not exams. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a set of rules mm -hmm. used to govern a nation. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay. And you know how many like, parts has been broken down? Do you know where it covers and all of that? You know that there are some for children. There are some parts that affect children. There are also some parts that affect the different, you know, agencies. Oh, that one is too much. It's plenty. Yes. It's lazy. Yes. <laughs> My father has been teaching me all this. Oh, beautiful. She, he's working for the NCC. Okay. I mean, National Commission for Civic Education. Beautiful. And they make sure that they will educate people mm -hmm. about the Constitution. Beautiful. I like that. And for you to even know what NCCE means right now at this age and know what they do, I think that's fantastic. So another high five for me. Yeah, keep going. And I'm hoping that other children will also be able to learn a, a lot more about the Constitution. So let's speak a bit more about what you are doing this year, 2020. What should we look out for? Um, people of Ghana mm -hmm. and the world should expect nothing but the best, great and massive. And mm. I want um, beautiful viewers to pray for me. Oh, we should pray for you. Yes. Let us be more specific. Okay. Yes. And what should we pray for concerning you? Yeah, I want to be the first female president. Eesh. I want to... Um, I want to protect our motherland, Ghana. Mm, beautiful. Yes. In your ways. I, I've seen that you've been doing a lot of work concerning sanitation as well. So I'm hoping yes. and praying that you get more strength and greater ideas to be also to, to be able to continue with all of these as well. Amen. Some people really, really love the the one on three FM. I I heard some people talking about it and they really love you know that yes. address. And so wishing you more goodness in that regard. Thank I you. I also hear that you have something sweet for us. A nice performance. Yes. Concerning Ghana 2020 and the elections that will follow. Yes. So yes. if you don't mind, you can stand. Feel free. This set is for <laughs> okay. you. And show us what you have. As a nation and a people, our journey towards democratization has been a checkered one. Oh yes, it has not been a smooth journey at all. However, we can still pat ourselves at the back because of some successes we have chalked as a nation. We have come far and in Africa. Ghana is seen as the beacon of hope and an oasis of peace to the rest of the world. Oh yes, I stumbled upon the word peace. Blessed are those who are peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God, says the Holy Book. Ghana, an oasis of peace. Oh yes, it is true, but how are we protecting this priceless gift? Touting all these credentials, we still know that we have not crossed the bridge yet. Yes, we have not, because of fear, of uncertainty that grip our nation during election. We are so grappling with tertiary, vigilantism, monetization of our democracy, patronage, vote buying and vote selling. The focus of this discourse is that the citizenry have to be oriented, conscientized to develop their capacity, knowledge and skills to be able to appreciate the fact that really sovereignty resides in the people. It is a sovereignty resides in the people that I present 
The water, you are the center of our everything in our democratic journey. You hold the power, so your life should not be in danger during election. We all citizens have a great responsibility to perceive the peace God has endowed us with. Let us eschew greed, corruption, stealing of our resources, meant for the common good. Na in pain for sin, se oba kufuji di mea, ikro minyete. Tribalism and ethnicity should not be allowed to fester or reign supreme in our country, for it breeds conflict. In this respect, the 1992 Ghana Republican Constitution says it in its preamble, we the people of Ghana. This we the people of Ghana statement is very significant. Significant because I did not say we the Fantis, the Ashantis, the Ewe, or the Dakumbes. It says we the people of Ghana. Mm. As citizens, let love reign supreme. Dialoguing spirit and jaw drawing should be our hallmark. Election 2020, let us do our part as great citizens to perceive the peace God has endowed us with. Ghana will win, Africa will win, hmm. and the world will win. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. That was very, very deep and a whole lot to have all of us thinking mm. about what we are going to be doing all throughout the year 2020. As it is the election year, we should be mindful that peace is priceless. And so Wait. we should be peaceful and we should exhibit love because we are one people. We are one people, we're not fancy. With one destiny. Exactly, with one destiny, exactly. You've got it right. High five one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are wait, too much. Wait, wait, hey, wait. Hey, what wait. else did you want to tell me? And I've been nominated for the Poetry and Comedy Awards. Okay. When so, is that happening? Um, I don't really know the date, but okay. it's happening this January. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I want you to vote for me, lovely Ghanaians, so I can win these two awards. Beautiful. Comedy and poetry awards. Beautiful. Uh -huh. So how do we vote for you? Uh, okay, so the code is star 920, um, star 920 star, mm -hmm. one eight star 920 hash. I think that's it. That's it, eh? Yes. All right, so we'll continue to push that for you as well. Can you remember it again so that you take it for them one more time? Yes, star 92, Zero star one eight two zero hash. You okay. came. So uh, I've I've been able to access a star nine two zero star one eight star nine two zero nine. Pardon me. Hash star nine two zero star one eight star two zero nine hash to vote for you to be able to win. Uh, the award that you've been nominated for. I think you're fantastic all the same. And, and lovely so Ghanaians, my dress mm -hmm. is provided by Kids Hub GH. Kids Hub GH. Yes, but not my job. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a beautiful dress that you're wearing. Yeah. So okay. if you want to look beautiful like me, Aww. just go to Kids Hub GH and you look beautiful than me myself sitting there. Oh, <laughs> and that says a lot about her as well. Quite selfless, and she doesn't mind if any someone else looks even prettier than her. I think you are fantastic, and I wish you all the very best 